Hello there, you're welcome. And in today's session, let me quickly show you how to create a multi page or multi sheet dashboard using Microsoft Excel. That's for those who are using Excel for whatever reason. Okay, so um, sometimes you want to, you have late, large data sets from different departments or from different um, categories, and then to best visualize them, you just want to split them over different sheets or different pages. So, how do you do something like that in Excel? For example, for um, the dashboard you're looking at on your screen, we have uh, about two different pages. One is the home page, which is the default that we have right here. And you have the second page right here still um, on the same dashboard, right? So you can navigate between the home and this other page, the analysis page, whatever name you want to give to it. And this third button here allows you to view the report um, or the documentation for this same dashboard. So yeah, I'm going to, going to click OK. And um, it takes me directly to my documentation for the dashboard, right? So let me show you how you can create something like this using Microsoft Excel. So in this session, I'm not going to be showing you how to create a dashboard. All I want to show you is how to create the multiple sheets and link them up together. So I'm still going to be using a template similar to the one we I just showed you. So before you start to create your multiple sheets or multi-page dashboard, one of the few things you want to do is to make sure that you have a template that you want to use, right? You don't need to have put your charts or arrange your charts on it. Just have a template that looks like what you'd want to use. Up next, you want to create this um, other bar on this side, right? Where you're going to have your buttons. And then for that, I'm just going to make a duplicate of this using Ctrl plus D on my keyboard. Or you can just go ahead and do a copy and paste. Right, and I'm going to adjust these to fit in right here. You can go ahead and draw it yourself, right? But um, this is just going to help me save more time. So I'm going to keep this here. And um, what I want to do next is to bring in shapes or buttons that I'm going to use for my, um, for my links. So I'm going to just insert a shape right here. Let me format it. Control plus one to open this format shape pane right here. Uh, what I just want to do here is just add a little bit of shadow, nothing more. Okay, so what is my shadow color? Let me use this. Uh, that is if you're interested in using shadows. If you are not, it's fine. Just um, go ahead and have it this way. And I'm also going to bring in a few icons to just make it a little bit catchy. Um, so under the insert tab, you want to go for icons. So make sure that you're connected to the internet before you go look for icons or else you're gonna get nothing. So I'm just going to bring three random icons in, nothing serious, just to So I'm going to insert all three. Okay, so they are here. That's fine. Uh, let me change the colors to white. Oh, uh, we're gonna use blue. Depending on the kind of blue you want to use, but I'm just going to keep one of these. I think that's fine. I know this blue is good enough for me. I will resize that right here, whatever you want to keep it. For this, I'm also going to remove the outline, no outline, so that it can blend well into the background. So I have something like this. All right, so I want to highlight all three items, hold my control key or my shift key and click on all three items right click on that and then let me group it together so i have grouped them i'm going to Control plus d to make a duplicate of it then i can ungroup this again uh, i think let me call this page two 
and then bring in this shape or that icon there okay so what i want to do now is like the icon is in the background so i'm going to right click on it bring to front so it's now in front so i think this has been perfectly resized enough and um, let me make one more duplicate so we have um three of these buttons right here um just go ahead and position them properly now if you look at this i'm trying to drag this but it's like it's leaving the shape or the icon behind that's because i have not grouped it again so i need to just click on this and click on hold my shift or control key click on the icon again then group all three together again so you have it now if i'm dragging it i'm dragging all two items do the same thing here again if you look at it, it's the same thing so i just need to group it again once it is now grouped i let me click on all three items go to my shape format align them let me align to the left to make sure they are all on a straight line okay um i think this is fine now what we want to do next is to um, is to create the um make a duplicate of this sheet so that you can have your sheet to page two page three and so on right so this can be our dashboard let me rename this as dashboard all i need to do to rename that is to double click on that right now to make a duplicate of it i want to right click on this and then select move or copy i want to select create a copy move to the end okay right i want to make another copy right click on this move or copy okay i think we have two is okay so i'm gonna call this page two right so page one page two now on page two since page one is more or less or our dashboard is more or less like the home page that is fine it can be this way but for our page two we may not really have to style it this same way you can adjust this a little bit so you're just going to contain your title or whatever header you're going to have and then this other part of the dashboard you can resize it to fit exactly what you're trying to visualize so for example i want this this way All right i want three major visuals here i can uh, resize these a bit now this is just an example so now what you want to do next up next the next thing i want to do is to link the sheet together so i want to right click on this one and select link then you have we have this pop-up right here and i want to link it to a place in this document right a place in this document and i want it to link it to dashboard cell reference we can leave it as a1 or b1 or b3 i usually like to leave it as a1 or a2 as the case may be so that's okay uh, do the same thing here make sure you're right clicking on the outer box right not on the text for these shapes so link uh let me link this one to page two select okay now for some reason you may actually link this do this linking before you make that duplication right i mean before you uh, copy and paste you know sometimes you can actually do that duplication by duplicating the sheets or you just copy and paste the whole content right on your spreadsheet then paste it in the new sheet whichever way you'd like to do it is fine okay so you want to just repeat the same thing here link link this to dashboard then link page two to page two so i can from here now click on this it has taken me back to home page click on this it has brought me to page two so we've linked these two successfully but then we have nothing on page three let's assume our page three is going to be our documentation so what do you want to do you want to uh, make sure that you have done your documentation and then you have your documentation somewhere in your on your pc so i'm going to right click on this and then link this um, 
So in this case, I'm going to select existing file. Existing file. Now, depending on where the file is, right? Depending on where you have your file or where you have your folder. So I'm going to assume this is it, but this is just a certification. And I'm going to select OK. That's for my page 3. I'm going to do the same thing here. If you don't want to just repeat the process, you can go ahead and delete this. Right? Come to page 2, copy this, and then paste it in our own page. So I'm just going to drag it down. But I don't really like this method because sometimes it can really, really, really mess you up right i mean the positioning they won't really i mean the content will not really um be in place across board hope you understand so if i select this i select this it has it's trying to open the pdf for my documentation and you can see this as uh, my output or for my documentation so this is my own page this is page two this is page three also for that documentation so basically that is how you create a multi-paged dashboard using microsoft excel so i do hope that you learned something from this session if you do do well to like it do well to share whatever it is that you learned in the comment section i'll be dropping for the updates with time